Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at mutually exclusive events and independent events. This is an area of probability which students tend to mix up a lot, but there's no real reason to mix them up because they're pretty much two separate things. Okay, so let's first look at mutually exclusive events. So what it means to be mutually exclusive is that two events have no overlap. That is, if I have two events A and B, the probability of A intersection B is equal to zero. Graphically, on a Venn diagram, we can display this being two circles which do not overlap. That's A and that's B. Okay, another way to show this would be if A is a set of numbers being 1, 2, 3, B is going to be another set of numbers being 4, 5, and 6. There is no overlap between the two, so we say that they are mutually exclusive. So to prove something's mutually exclusive, we just need to show that the probability of their intersection is equal to zero. Now for independent events, it's a lot different because they're not the same thing. For two events to be independent, it means that the probability of one event occurring does not depend on the outcome of another. So it's like saying me flipping a coin and the weather outside. Whether or not the coin lands on heads or tails has nothing to do with whether it's sunny or it's windy or it's raining outside. They're two separate events. They're independent of one another. Okay, so the way we prove that something's independent is by using our conditional probability formula, which you all should be familiar with. That is, the probability of A, given that B has occurred, is equal to the probability of their intersection over the probability of B. So like I said, when an event is independent, it doesn't depend on any other events. So just like the coin flipping and the weather outside. So therefore, the probability of A occurring is the same as the probability of A occurring given that B has occurred. The probability of me flipping a heads is the same as the probability of me flipping a heads on a rainy day. So basically, the probability of A, given that B, should just equal A. They're the same thing. So how we prove something's an independent event is by saying that the probability of A is equal to the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B. This is our formula we use. Commonly it's represented as the probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. So if this equation holds when subbing in our values, it means that the two events are in fact independent of one another. And so when you're asked on an exam or a SAC, prove that these two events are independent, you plug them into this formula and then state, therefore, the following two events are independent. So looking back, when we think of independent events, we think about this formula. The probability of A intersection B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B. When we think of mutually exclusive events, we think of those two separate circles on the Venn diagram with zero overlap. Okay, so these are two things that should not be mixed up because time and time again it happens and yet they share no common elements. So hopefully this helps you in preparing for your VCE exam and hopefully you don't make the mistake that a lot of other students will. Thank you. Thank you.